In problem number 25, we'd like to find the derivative of the function y equals 3t minus 1 times 2t minus 2 raised to the negative 1 power. Now, this is actually a problem that is going to be um, useful to use the quotient rule on, but it's just not in the right form yet. So when I have 2t minus 2 to the negative 1, that actually could be written on the bottom of the fraction to the positive 1 power. So let's just start out by rewriting this uh, function. So instead of writing it this way, I want to write it this way. This is y equals 3t minus 1 divided by 2t minus 2. Okay, so I just rewrote it. Uh, these are exactly the same thing. And now we can see that this is a quotient, and so we should use the quotient rule on it to take the derivative. So if I want to take the derivative of this function, I want to find dy dx. <clears throat> then I need to remember my rule for taking the derivative of a quotient, because I can see that it's one function divided by another function. And the rule is that I always take the thing on the bottom, and I write it down first. Okay, So I take the guy on the bottom, 2t minus 2, and I write 2t minus 2, and I leave that alone. Then I multiply that by the derivative of what's on the top. In this case, on top we have 3t minus 1, and the derivative of 3t minus 1 is 3. So I multiply by 3. Then I have a minus sign, and then I get what's on top multiplied by the derivative of the bottom. So what's on top is 3t minus 1 multiplied by the derivative of what's on the bottom. And the derivative of the bottom is 2. And then that's all divided by the bottom, which is 2t minus 2. but we have to remember to square it, all right? Uh, there's some simplification left that we could do here, but I'm not so concerned with the simplification. This is the derivative of this function. So here's our dy dx. If we wanted to, we might simplify that a little bit more, but that's the derivative.